What's the point of saving and investing? I want to appreciate my money now rather than wait until I'm too old to accomplish anything. No one wants to save every cent until they're 90 years old and unable to enjoy the things they can finally afford. On the other hand, those who live each day as if it were their last will and testament eventually wake up stressed out and tired of being in debt up to their eyeballs. But how can you strike the right balance of living for today and saving for your future? These points will help you decide where to spend money and answer the question that so many people use as a deflection to avoid. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach lessons about investment and money-saving techniques. If you want to make your financial future better, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. First, you must address any financial goals you want to achieve. Are you hoping to build a portfolio worth tens of millions of dollars? Or are you just looking for a stable retirement with enough to enjoy lunch out and not worry about paying bills? Do you want to retire early and travel the world? Or are you just as happy taking a walk in the park, reading a good book, and spending time at home? Not everyone is interested in retiring early, just as not everyone is interested in living a life of luxury. Determining what you want to achieve will provide you with more insight into how frugal you should be, what's really important to you, and what you value most that you don't mind giving up. Some people enjoy seeing new things and having new experiences, so they choose to focus their spending in that area. Others may not even care about having a home because they would rather spend everything on their travels. Still, others may insist on living in an extremely expensive area of the city in a beautiful location, even if it means cutting other expenses and not being able to travel. Someone else may decide that they don't care about traveling at all and would rather direct their savings to their hobbies at home. Someone may be perfectly content living at a boarding house if it means cutting other expenses and not being able to travel, which means they can eat out every meal because they enjoy dining out and dislike cooking. You must decide where your money will have the greatest impact on your life. A healthy relationship with money includes both saving and spending, and that is impossible to have if you can't bring yourself to spend money on yourself. Being afraid to spend money is almost as bad as spending carelessly. One of the reasons it's so important to splurge once in a while is that it keeps you motivated and prevents you from becoming burnt out. If all you can think about is saving money and you can't stand the thought of spending anything, this is a sign that you're burnt out. Unless you're a miser, it's not long-term sustainable. It's difficult to sustain this for many years, and even if you could, what a horrible existence it would be. The idea of having money is to be able to appreciate it properly. You just need to strike the correct balance. Nothing in life is certain, and you may be hit by a car and be gone with a lot of money in the bank. No one can argue that tomorrow isn't promised. Therefore, it would be a tragedy if you were never able to appreciate anything because all you could think about was death. Having said that, what most people regard as fun money is actually needless spending. People who say they want to enjoy their money now are most likely not spending it on items that provide value to them. Rather, they are purchasing things that they will forget they purchased in a year. A couple of days of aimless online shopping for clothing, Cigarettes that will never be worn, gambling, and electronics don't really fit into today's mantra of living. To make matters worse, these items are frequently purchased on credit, which means that unless they pay the bill in full every month, which most people don't, they're paying significant sums of interest. Having fun with your money, if anything, these wasteful purchases make your life worse when you're broke, tired, and stressed. Then, a few days later, you're buying things you don't even care about just so you can spend recklessly. By determining what's important to you, you'll understand where to spend money to get the best bang for your buck. You'll learn to avoid wasteful spending. If you don't do this, you'll make many purchases that you thought would make you happy, only to realize that the feeling was extremely fleeting. The truth is that you can save for your future while also enjoying your money now. Making small changes now can make a big difference over time. Depending on your goals, you really only need to put away a small percentage of your income for the future. Just putting 10% of your income into investments could be enough to provide for your retirement, and the rest can be spent on whatever you want, whatever you desire. 
Even someone with an average income can become a millionaire over their career by investing 10% of their pay. While this may appear to be a small sacrifice for a large sum of money later, most people understand that a small amount of money invested now means much more money later due to compounding. When you invest for a long time, almost all of the money you will have will be from interest, and only a fraction will be from what you personally put away. For example, if you invest $5,000 per year for 30 years in the S&P 500, earning a 10% average annual return, the total amount will be around $900,000 yet you only contributed $100,000. Approximately 85% of the money was obtained through investment. Thus, you sacrificed 10% of your salary to receive nearly tenfold in return in this case. A widespread fallacy is that saving money is solely for bettering your life in 20 to 30, 40 years. Not at all. Having money set aside can improve your life almost immediately because you're not worried about paying your bills and you have a buffer in the event of an unfortunate situation. This is huge and will put your mind at ease because you have the freedom to take some time off from work. You have the flexibility to quit your work and start a business, and you have the option to hunt for a new career, relocate to a different place, and go on vacation if you like. Having options and the capacity to make these decisions is important, even if you don't use all of these chances. The greatest method to strike the correct balance between living for today and investing for the future is to free up some budget space by being frugal with your spending. It is not always essential to give up everything you enjoy. Instead, you may need to reduce your consumption of certain items. If you don't even care about cutting back on wasteful spending on things you don't even need and will forget about, immediately find ways to reduce your bills by shopping around. Figure out how to maximize your time spent working so you can accomplish more and earn more money per hour. Assume you have lived a long time but have never saved any money. If you are unable to work, how will you pay your bills? How pleasant would that scenario be? Being wise now means financial security. When you're older and no longer able to work, you can enjoy your money now while still saving for the future. A chunk for the future. Putting away a small proportion of your salary requires very little sacrifice, but it will be multiplied back to you. In addition, you'll learn what's important to you when to spend money and when to save it because you might be gone before you can spend every last penny or die with a million dollars.